In a little bit, we're going to be uh, I'm going to be doing some steering steering column upgrades to my Trans Am. Um, <clears throat> I went to the junkyard the other day, and uh, I just went there looking for uh, Astro Van shafts or or Jeep Cherokee shafts. I was just looking for the popular upgrade shafts, and I ended up grabbing a couple different ones. Um, and I'm going to figure out which one I'm going to use, and I'll take a video on on how to modify it and um, how to install but right now I just wanted to give everybody a look at what uh, is also an upgrade it's a less less common upgrade I would think and the only reason I'm doing it is because I just happened to find one and it was you know ready to go it was right there the shaft the steering shaft was already out this is the lower steering column support bearing and this was from an older Astro van and I can't even tell you what year. I'll tell you what, the day I went, it was like 90 degrees. I just wanted to get in there, get what I needed, and get out of there. Uh, but it was an older one. Um, I'm going to guess 90s. Um, and what, what this, this just sits right at, at where the, uh, the actual shaft that comes through your steering column and exits into your engine bay. It exits right through this bearing. Now, on the, on the third gen Firebirds and Camaros, I've heard that this is plastic. I haven't actually seen mine yet. Uh, I'll show you how to take it out, and we'll take a look at what, what came out of mine when we get it. So I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not even 100% sure, it, you know, what, what's in there. So we're going we're gonna to find out, though. Uh, this, this actually seems like a pretty nice piece. There's, a, um, there's three main parts you want to grab when you go to, if you find one of these. And first is this clip. Uh, it's just a big clip. It's a wire clip. You can get it off with your fingers or a pair of needle nose. Um, then this retainer comes off, um, comes off next and, uh, you want to keep that. And then this is what you wiggle out. Now you can just kind of, you could, you could just kind of stick a screwdriver in there. I was able to get this out with my fingers, just giving it a wobble and it will come off. Um, but there is, you can see in there, maybe you can't. Yeah. There is a bearing. It's an actual metal bearing and inside the bearing, there's an, an o-ring it's really hard to see too it's right inside there and I, I guess that just helps um give some some cushion or or you know some grip to the to the bearing i'm not really sure there's not a whole lot going on there cause it just turns so that's the astro band uh, astro van bearing upgrade and we're gonna Try to get video in the car of me removing the other one. It's kind of tight in there. I should have should have done this before the motor was in, but too bad on that. So we'll uh, we'll check back with that later, and then the modifying the Astro van shafts. I'm gonna try to show that too because there's plenty of write ups online about you know rotating one of the U joints and 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 grinding off peenings and rewelding, and there's not a whole lot of actual. There's no write up that that shows step by step by step by step all the way through showing where to weld it you know all that stuff and I know that helps some people so we're going to try to do that too amongst other things today uh, but anyway I just wanted to give everybody a quick look at that so here's the uh, where the steering shaft exits the um, F body here and just uh, on first glance it looks like there's a seal but I don't really see much past that so we're going to pull it um, and I, I can already tell you, look how much play there is in that. I don't know if that's gonna, if that's gonna take that away or not. If it does, that'd be sweet. So here's that clip that I was telling you about, and this one actually seems to be a little more stiff. So we're gonna need a screwdriver. At least we're going to want a screwdriver and we're just going to want to carefully pry that up and I'm going to take note of a couple things here one there's the clip one is the opening to this protect or to this ring is going that way now I'm not going to use this one this one's a little different um, than the Astro one we're going to use all Astro parts here so that's Set that to the side, and here's the bushing slash bearing. 
Now on the Astro, I was able to slide this right out. On this car, I think I'm gonna need a little screwdriver persuasion. And I know you can't see, but um, tough. <laughs> By the way, this is probably not 100% necessary on my car. It's My car is a very low mile, well in my opinion, to me it's very low mile. It's still under uh, 40,000 miles on this chassis, I believe. Okay, so here comes whatever is in there. Oh, yep, look at that. That is just a plastic bushing with some grease and a rubber seal. So, I would say that this is definitely an upgrade. Question is, okay, so here's the comp comparison of the two. Hope you can see that. I can't really see what's in the video. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some grease on the shaft. As you can see, the shaft is now unsupported and it's real sloppy. Um, I'm gonna put some grease inside there, just some uh, actually, I'm not even sure which way this goes. I guess it goes in like that. Yeah, I'm going to say that's how it goes. Uh, I'm just using some, actually I'm using synthetic wheel bearing grease, which is probably way overkill, but since this is probably never going to be opened up again for any reason, I uh, figured I'd put some good grease in there. And I'm, I'm not going overboard with the grease either. Because I don't think it's necessary. Let's put a little bit of grease on this. Actually, I think I am going to... That's, that's really funny that... Okay. All right, here goes nothing. Slide this on carefully. Oh, it fits on the shaft anyway. And I think this wide part here goes in that opening. And then... Um, I was going to paint this black, but I'm just going to leave it. It's easy enough to pop off. Okay, I might need to get, sneak my other hand in there. Okay, get one end of the clip in, and then just kind of Start it around. I think I put one end in too far. Maybe I'll put this end in first. One that I can actually see. Oop, there we go. And that's it. That kind of seems like a little loose to me. Seems a lot loose to me. Just for just for the fun of this job, let's toss the F body retainer on and see if it actually fits. No, not even close. I feel like the that's the the sleeve fits, but this clip just doesn't do much to hold it. I'll look into that. Like I said, that's easy enough to get back into and pull apart. But anyway, uh, 
I mean, that thing is tight now. I can't really wiggle it much at all. So if nothing else, there you go. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the Astro Van bearing upgrade. Um, I'm not going to chuck my original just yet. I'll wait and see, make sure that that's going to be okay. And, uh, man, I really got to clean this thing in here. Guess I'll do that next before I start messing with wires and getting too far involved. Uh, I'm going to probably play with the steering shafts for, in a little bit. Um, I, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on them today because I really want to focus on maybe getting this thing running. But we'll uh, anything I come up with, I will show you. Thanks for watching. When I was uh, cleaning up from doing the... Um, I'm putting this bearing in I just I realized that when I was taking it off of the Astro van there was a um, like a, a bent washer and a retaining washer in front of that bearing now it was I thought it was slid away from the bearing more but I don't know I just uh, that 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 seal or that uh, lock washer man that thing seems like it holds really well and that uh, wavy spring washer was had a lot of tension to it, it seemed like. So I just went ahead and slid it on. I cleaned it up and slid it on and pushed it all the way up against that bushing or the bearing. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's not necessary. Maybe it doesn't do what I think it does, but I kind of don't think it really matters because there's not a whole lot of in and out force on that. Uh, just a little compliment to the, the Astro Van bearing video. Um, this is actually a fourth gen shaft or a fourth gen steering column, which is essentially the same thing as a third gen column. It'll even bolt in except this length and, and how far it protrudes out is a little different. And of course the shaft is different. But anyway, point being is I wanted to check a couple things here. I wanted to see what this was, if it was a bearing or a bushing and check to see how this fitment was. Now, as you can see on this, this thing's super loose. It's as loose as my, uh, the one that's on my car now. And I had some concern about that, but I haven't touched this. This is how it was when I pulled it. So um, I think that the, the bearing is supposed to kind of just keep it, you know, if it, if, it, if it does slide a little bit, I don't think it matters. See if you push the bear, uh, bearing out a little bit. But, uh, and this one is actually, it is a bushing. It's a plastic bushing, just like my, um, factory uh, my factory third gen one was it's just plastic uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this cap which is the the third gen cap and I'm going to modify it I think only because I don't like how loose it fi uh, fits the one that fits now come on focus All right, I don't know why we're not focusing all of a sudden. There we go. You can see right in here there's these fingers. Then there's a lip. And the other cap doesn't really have that. But what I'm going to do is knock these fingers loose, knock them down. I might actually sacrifice that one. Or, you know what, it doesn't matter. I have, I have one to put back just in case I really butcher things. But I'm going to knock that down and see if... This will fit. Basically, just take a little off at a time until this fits on there super snug. Um, I think that'll be a reasonable solution for that being loose. I, I'm just not a big fan. Oh, this whole video is out of focus. I'm just not a big fan of it being loose. So we'll see what happens. Uh, at the end, I started to grind on that cap. At the end of the day, I just um, nice and tight now. What I ended up doing. It, it was just grinding was just kind of a pain so I just took it and I just kind of squeezed it I don't know why I didn't do that before um, I just gave it a little squeeze and it tightened it up it, it, there's no way that thing can come out and um, like I said I, I don't know if you need that everyone I've talked to said that they didn't find or didn't use that lock washer but just as an added little added something I mean that thing is stuck on there so hard with that spring washer behind it that uh, it's just a little added, little added protection so that that doesn't decide that it wants to come out of there. 
but um, I don't see any way that it's going to anyways. But that's what I did. Not a big deal. It, I just wanted to, to clear that up. That just a little squeeze, tightened it up in case you run into the same thing.